Hello my soccer universe! I would say it's time to take the second jersey out of this nice package that I got from Andy and this time I, I want to start actually with the special something that I got extra which is in this envelope right here before I show you the jer jersey. Um, now that my collection is really nearing a point where I really feel confident that I can cover most of the leagues that I'm interested in with uh, jerseys here I can actually move into uh, two possible directions. I a, can only now focus on jerseys, not of teams that I need, although they will always be a little bit there. Um, but I also can move in the direction now to um, have teams that I really wear well like jerseys, so only get jerseys that I really like, uh, which is anyway something, and you know, mostly of teams that I like. Uh, it would be nice to have a pretty complete Milan collection uh, for, uh, you know, for the entirety that I am a fan, have every single Milan jersey, that would be a nice uh, task. I think for Lasky it will be actually be a lot uh, tougher to get this. And the other one is to make these jerseys that I'm wearing here a little bit more special and that's where this here comes in. This envelope contains a few, quite a few. <laughs> quite a few um, patches and so let me show you uh, I have here Serie A patches I have 21 22 this will go on my new Milan away jersey to commemorate the title at least that patch I want to have on there then we have uh, let, let me see 2021 I have to still decide on which I'll put this and then I have two for um, the uh, 100 year, I think it was the 1920 season. That's this one. And this will definitely go on this Milan shirt here. Uh, I think it was on, was it on the right? I have to see on which shoulder, but these will go definitely on the two recently acquired Milan jerseys. So this is where I have uh, these. I have to see how, we, this will be a special video on how I will apply, uh, uh, apply this, but that will definitely be of interest. Then I got, for I actually wanted to get the you know oh no nah, I don't have 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 had up here I, when Liverpool won the championship I actually wanted to get the patch on there as well or I may put it on another jersey I have to see but I think this is for the New Balance Liverpool jersey that I have and then for the really nice Man City away jersey get this champions champions patch on there as well so i'm really really excited about these to have a few patches that i can add on now for the team that i'm unpacking here i'm actually not sure if it has a patch on it although typically from this league uh the teams come with patches this is the team that i have been saying i needed this the last i say it's a spanish team i'll give you a little preview it is red and white stripes and not many teams. I mean, there are quite quite a few teams with red, red and white stripes, but there are not many that are really, really wanted. It's one that has been missing, and it was really, for me, um, now that over the last summer, I, I really got, I got uh, Real Sociedad, I got uh, the Betis shirt back there. Uh, then I could add um, some smaller teams. I really, yeah, this is the last big team. That's the one that has never been relegated outside of the big two. I'm talking about, of course, about Athletic Club. And the story behind this, let's see, La Liga patch. So <laughs> I'm all set there. The story behind getting this one is really, I, I remember the day that the 22, 23 kids were released. I went to the uh, Bilbao club store in the hope that the uh, 21 22 kids will be discounted which i didn't dislike not uh super but you know they were decent kids i really i uh, i would have enjoyed have, having them they were not to be found there in addition shipping i think almost uh fifth between 15 and 20, 20 years so was not really interested in that i saw the one from 18 19 in player version uh where yeah i was kind of tempted but still shipping would have, would have fully I, was, I didn't want to spend more than 50 euros on that so i, I already set my bar kind of high but i didn't want to go super high um then i can i remember i contacted idris i was preparing to teach i said idris just in case, if you find the Athletic Club shirt, uh, any 
would like to have a home shirt. New Balance would be nice because I don't have too many, too many new, new, new Balance shirts, but you know, any. Just let me know and I might get it. And then he comes through. Within a few days, he finds a uh, the uh, 20, to, I don't know, 21, 22, that is so with all the 20s, the 21, 22 season jersey. So the one from the season that just ended. He finds it as an ad, ad seller, even in my right size. And I said, yeah, um, it's cool. It's just the price. I think they wanted to have like 70 or 65 or something like that. I said, try 45. And it is accepted. And I say, yay, I have a Bill Bauer jersey. Was really, really happy, even for the price that I wanted. Next day, they say they don't have any XL anymore. Only L. And at that point, I already had looked a little bit myself and I saw this jersey. And I ha actually have to say, I do like the, it's not the great, it's, it's maybe uh, just um, how to say. Um, objectively, it's maybe not the better jersey, but there's something I like about this. Uh, it is a little bit more striped than uh, the, this past season. Well, and I really, really like the graphic in the stripes here. And in addition, they won the uh, Super Copa de España in this one. So, I mean, it has some of this value as well. But I said, okay, I could not get this really unless I ordered it through England and you never know with uh, shipping, blah, blah, blah. And Idris came through so nicely. I gave him and then, no, L, it's not happening. And I said, okay, maybe since Andy anyway was about to send me the Ajax shirt that I unpacked, maybe I can uh, ask him through the Atleti for, the, uh, for this particular shirt to order it for me. Uh, Idris said, yeah, he's very happy with that one too. And so Andy ordered it for me and now I have it. And now I have to say, this is one of those moments where I say, my Spanish collection feels complete. And as I said, this is a really nice jersey. I actually really like it. I, I especially love this sound wave pattern, which of course has to be probably some to do with the sounds made at San Mames a little bit. But I really like this pattern in there. Or, may, or is it league position? I have to have to check what, what it was. I also like the way that it did the crest. Of course, ideally, no sponsor should be there. Um, yeah, meanwhile, this is out of the question. But I have to say, it's a very non-intrusive sponsor in many ways. And this is a jersey I can even imagine myself wearing as well. So really, really nice jersey, this one. Absolutely happy with that one. Thanks, Andy, for helping me. And thanks, Idris, for uh, willing to uh, assist me. And then in the end, it didn't work out. But I don't blame you uh, one little bit. Now, I have to say that in that season, Athletic Club had a really nice third jersey. I think it was even from previously in green, uh, which also would be nice to have an alternative. I really like the little Basque flag here on the back. So, yeah, let me know what you think about this Athletic Club jersey. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And, yeah, I will keep you updated how I will apply all these patches here. I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.